माय सेल्फ शिवरामकृष्ण शर्मा वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट सकल विद्या डॉट कॉम इन प्रीवियस एपिसोड्स और सेशन वी हैव सीन दैट ऑल द टॉपिक्स एंड कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू योर इंटरमीडिएट मैथमेटिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट डिप्लोमा एंड इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स थ्रू दिस सकल विद्या प्लेटफॉर्म वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑल द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ डिप्लोमा विच आर ऑफ ए पी एन तेलंगाना स्टेट सो इन दिस सेशन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू हैव ए ब्रीफ डिस्कशन on the final year subject that is design of steel structures of your diploma so what is meant by steel structures and what are the basic views and the topics and the chapters that we are having which are having this content let us discuss in further session so as per your syllabus given by your concerned board we are having five chapters in this design of steel structures so what is the first chapter it comes under the design of steel structures the first chapter is introduction which has weightage of 3 marks you get only one short answer the weightage is 3 the second chapter is design of fillet well the chap third chapter is design of tension members the fourth chapter is design of compression members and the fifth chapter is design of beams and the last chapter as per your syllabus is design of roof trusses design of roof trusses so as per your syllabus the design of fillet well it has the weightage of 13 marks so weight weightage is 13 marks so the weightage of design of tension members as per your syllabus it is 16 marks and the compression members is 36 marks and beams is 26 marks and the call and the roof trusses is again it is of 16 marks so this is the course content that that we are going to study under design of steel structures the first chapter is introduction second one is design of fillet wells the third one is design of tension members and the fourth one is design of compression members fifth one comes under design of beams and the last the chapter that we are going to study under the design of steel structure is design of roof trusses the first chapter in your steel structures is introduction to your steel structures it has weightage of 3 marks we get only one short answer from this lesson so before dealing with uh, your introduction of steel structures let us recap our concepts of rcc and what is the difference between your rcc and steel structures and what are the different types of design analysis and methods that you have been using in your rcc and what are the methods that we are going to use further in your steel structures so what is meant by rcc rcc so what is meant by rcc so reinforcement concrete structures in your rcc is a process we use the materials like cement concrete aggregates water together along with the main ingredient that is your steel reinforcement in your rcc the steel reinforcements such as bars plates and your fibers that are embedded in your concrete together to form a new material or new substance which has power of resistance to the forces as everyone knows concrete is good in compression whereas your steel is good in tension so the compressive force along with your tensile force of steel together to form a new bond this new bond has a capacity to resist the forces or stress that are acting on it to a long span is known as rcc so what is meant by rcc 
in this we use all the materials such as cement plus water plus aggregates along with your steel reinforcement together to form RCC. So, the bond between steel and the concrete is mainly because of your strain compatibility. The bond between the bond between steel and concrete is mainly due to strain compatibility. So, what is the best example for your RCC? All the structures, buildings, high rise buildings that are using at present day to day life or an example for your RCC. For this, this design purposes, we use the specifications which are given by your IS. 456-2000, we just follow the specifications which are given by ES 456-2000, this is known as RCC, the most commonly type material which are using at present day to day life. So, what is meant by steel structures? So, let us have a discussion on steel structures. So, what is meant by steel structures? It is a process of system of connected bodies together to form a new rigid body or a framework together is known as steel structures. How do we connect two steel structure bodies together by concrete? No, it is not possible. We have another process by the process like welding, second one is bolting and deviting. These are the different types of connecting processes that are we are using under steel structures. So, what is meant by steel structures? It is a process of system of connected bodies together to form a to form a rigid body or a, or a rigid framework. is called as steel structures. For example, let us consider three steel members which are connected by the process of welding. This is a member, this is also a member and this is also a member. We have connected by using the process of welding. Simply it forms a truss. Truss is an example for here. Thus is an example for your steel structures. So, what are the different process for connecting the steel structures? First one is welding, secondly bolting and third one is riveting. So, what are the different types of process for connection of steel structures is welding, bolting and riveting. For analysis of and design purposes for your steel structures, we use the specifications given by IS 800 2007. For all the design analysis purposes, we must use the code book given by your Indian standard that is IS 800 2007. 